That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Umnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banuk hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the Claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the Claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing? No one else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years, the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt. I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the Claws Beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. Find anything interesting lately? I might have. Let's talk. I've got a nice rail, just like our talks. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these, yeah, that should. Right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at, let's be generous, half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh, Pop says all weapons are girls. 
I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen, if we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. So, a Thunderjaw hunt. They seem pretty rare up here. Not that I'm complaining. That's why we should get out of the cut. <laughs> if we can handle a Thunderjaw, we can handle Pop. Again. Sure feels good to be out of knee-deep snow. So, we've got a thunderjaw. 